Hello YouTube, Elite A Legionario here, and today I'll be bringing you my 100th battle. So, um, that's really cool. 100 battles on my channel now when I get this one up. So, I didn't, th I didn't you know, I'm really thankful that you guys, um, you know, sub to it. For those, I've, got now, I've now got 25 subs. I had 15 at 50, so I've got 10 subs in the last 50 videos. Now, so I know it's quite slow compared to other videos, but I'm, I'm pretty chuffed and pleased about it. And, um, just many thanks for all um, your comments and views. So anyway, um, this is a follow-up to my last battle with Dahomeg, who um, had been... I'd fought him in the last battle and I was Pontus, and he cleaned up my cavalry with his cataphracts real bad. Um, but this time I, uh, I noticed that in the last couple of battles he'd used this exact army build of five gold gold silver shield pipemen, five gold gold cataphracts. So um, I built an army to um, oppose, well, you know, kind of counter it. Um, and my army consists of... My main infantry lines, my usual setup of one uh, Praetorian as my general, three units of legionary cohort and a legionary first cohort, um, providing a, like a moral boosting on each side. I have two units of um, gold gold Praetorian cav, and I've got four units of hidden triarii. Now my plan is to try and bait his cataphracts with my Praetorians into my triarii inside these woods, where they'll both lose the bonus, like they'll get a weakness bonus because they're in a, like a little a forested area, plus they're going to be up against spears. Um, at which point my uh, legionnaires can uh, leisurely ta at their leisure take down these silver shield pikemen because they are better. Um, I, I noticed when I fought him and he'd been beating me, his cataphracts, were, he, he based his strategy entirely around his cataphracts power. And um, here I managed to get a few peeler into these cataphracts and he actually loses but about probably about 10 or 12 cataphracts in that unit. Um, he went from... Uh, 50, yeah, he lost about 13 cataphracts there. So here I'm going to use my Praetorian Cav to draw him in. Um, and he's taking my bait, and I'm really pleased here. And I'm coming in, and here I'm going to reveal my Triarii. And he is going to um, get smacked down by my Triarii here. Here I'm going to keep these two in reserve in case he decides to send these units around to flank. So these Triarii are here to assist, if that's the case. So um, this is a testament to Cataphract's power though, even with all these Triarii in their face, um, they are still holding out and doing a lot of damage. But here I'm going to intercept them with these Triarii, and um, I've got more Triarii coming in. Here he brings his men in, um, his Silver Shields, but they're going to receive a crap load of Peeler in their face, and there's his General dead as well. So um, as you can see, Peter can easily knock up to 10 units out of every unit, very dangerous, and his Cataphracts are now getting pretty bashed down. But as you can see, uh, they took down quite a lot of my men as well. Um, and I pulled back this unit of first cohort just in case, because I have seen cataphracts beat spear units head on battles before. But fortunately, Triarii are pretty tough, um, especially against um, other spearmen. I mean, other, against cavalry. Um, but, well, they're not very good against anything else, anything else but um, in the forest too, they get a bit of, um, well, the cataphracts will suffer a bit of a uh, weakness bonus. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see my uh, remaining Praetorian cab, which I managed to pull out of that, and I'm going to use it to hammer and anvil his forces. And here I was trying to intercept his cataphracts with my first cohort, but it didn't work. But fortunately I managed to route this unit so I can turn these, this unit here to assist in taking down these cataphracts. So that worked out nicely. And here I'm going to come in for another charge with my Praetorian cab. Um, limited effect though, because these cataphracts did get in here. But uh, here he comes in with another charge on the side here. I was a bit careless there. Um, you got to be careful though. Regroup cataphracts can still win a, win a game. So you got to be real careful there. Um, over here he's coming in for more strikes. My first cohort will deal with them. Um, they're pretty depleted. And once cataphracts get moving around and tired, they will become a lot easier to kill. Um, and here I'm just going to use these remaining triarii to outflank his... Um, forces. But as you can see, his cataphracts are now giving away. Um, but, as always, cataphracts are extremely deadly and tough to deal with. Here he's getting outflanked on this side and his um, silver shield pipemen are no match for my legionnaires. Um, silver shield pipemen are Okay, they're decent, but they're uh, they're not really up to standard with most Roman infantry. Um, legionary cohort are definitely better because legionary cohort are a match for royal pikemen, and royal pikemen do beat um, 
Silver Shield pikemen. So that's proof of that. So um, I sort of had to sacrifice one of my Praetorian units, but it was well worth it to draw in and take out these cataphracts. So um, basically, moral of this sort of game was I figured out um, his sort of army build, a rush army based around the power of his cataphracts. Once nullified, his um, the rest of his army wasn't up to par with um, to complete the task for him. But needless to say, they still put up a very good fight and were very hard to deal with. But um, I've managed to overcome him here and I think this is a pretty good um, battle on my part for my 100th video and again guys many thanks for all your um, views, comments, um, likes, constructive criticism, I will appreciate it all and um, I just I never really thought I'd get, you know, my channel would take, like it hasn't taken off like spectacular or anything but I never really thought it would get, get anywhere. So I'm just going to finish off the remainder of these um, Seleucid infantry and I'm just running them down and it's nearly ended. Um, so, uh, you know, if you face an opponent who uses the same army over and over again, you can eventually know how they're fighting and then you can counter it. So, um, he's a very good player, De he, um He, first battle was a free-for-all I did and he destroyed me. Second battle, his cataphracts destroyed my um, Cappadocians in, in that last battle I did. But um, I eventually learned his style, well, like his, his army build style and what his plan was, and I managed to build a counter. So as you can see, I had 883 men, got 730 kills, had 592 men remaining, had 870, he had 876 men deployed, he got 342 kills and had 141 men remaining. So if you look at the statistics, um, extremely good for my cohorts, as I said, they're a lot better than Silver Shield Pikemen. Uh, some of them getting well up into the hundreds while well taking like 20 or 30 casualties. Um, only this unit here, 71, 61, um, had a bit of trouble, but that was fine. Uh, Torian cohort 116, only five sustained. Um, Triarii, uh, they were the, they were the ones who ensured victory though because they stopped those cataphracts. So they took a few casualties, but they did took, take down a few of those cataphracts as well. And um, my Praetorian cav, particularly this unit, held out too and managed to get a few hammer and anvils in to ensure a much quicker victory. So um, this game definitely uh, the Triarii were the um, defenders there, and that's really uh, the the, the, the I, just, I really like Triaria, they're a really cool unit and I, I like to use them in that. I think they're horribly underpowered in this game, but uh, today they were the great victors of this battle, so good on them. So anyway guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this is number 100, so thanks for all your um, views and comments like I said, and I'll see you guys next time.